Derive layer cross section road layers. Hello everybody. Welcome to a video tutorial on how to derive a road layer using derive layer cross section. Derive layer feature is one of the most important features in eSurvey CAD section module. Derive layer means create a new layer data from the reference of existing data. In eSurvey CAD, we can create standard road layers with two methods. One by designing each profile by profile and assembling them together as the assembly and apply them and another way is to directly create the road layers using road profile concept. When you create road profile, road layers will get created automatically. To create road layers directly from standard cross section template, select cross section template or assembly menu followed by standard cross section template and then select road profile. Select assembly radio button. Click triple dotted button next to template drop down and create a new assembly road in edit assembly name window. Select newly created road assembly from template drop down and enter dimension to all road parameters then click create button. Click on road layer button and enter each road layer name that you want to create by specifying a name, height of layer and respective layer color. Once you create all the required layers say base, GSB, WMM, PM, SDBC, click on apply button. This is how you are deriving a road layer. Select apply cross section template from toolbar. Specify the formation level. Apply newly created road assembly to all the cross sections by specifying from section, to section and selecting road assembly and clicking on save button. Go to preview window to see the cross section. You can note that all the cross sections are updated with newly created road template. If you want to modify the properties of these road layers, select derive cross section layers from modify menu. Select one of the road layers created and you may change the properties like line joining type or if the road layer to be created only in widening portion. After you modify the properties, you can save and preview the cross section in preview window to see the respective changes in layer properties. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, you will learn how to derive longitudinal section layers.